Okay, our last lesson here in the triangle section is equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles, the name comes from equal and lateral. Um, equal meaning obviously the same, and lateral meaning the stretch or the distance along the sides. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle where it has three sides that are the same. A, B, B, C, and C, A again. And there are a number of things about an equilateral triangle that are kind of unusual as compared to other triangles because you, um, because most triangles obviously don't have all three sides the same. This really also qualifies as an isosceles triangle. Uh, if you recall in the previous lesson, we said that an isosceles triangle has at least two sides that are the same, and this one obviously does. The interesting thing about an equilateral triangle is that it's an equilateral or an isosceles triangle in all three orientations. So whether we have it this way up, or if we were to take the whole thing and sort of rotate it to the left and put B up on top, then we'd have this side here and this side here that still look like they were the same, and then rotate it again and put C on top, and then we end up with this side here and this side here. So it's sort of an isosceles triangle from every which way. Now the reason I point that out is that all of your rules for isosceles triangles still work. If you take a line and bisect your top angle, it bisects the bottom side at 90 degrees, but it also works from down here. If you bisect this angle down here on the lower right, it's going to bisect the bottom, and if you bisect over here, it's going to bisect its bottom. So an equilateral triangle just sort of splits up in every which direction evenly, which is kind of convenient because it makes a lot of our calculations a lot easier. Um, for instance, if we know that a triangle is equilateral, we know that all three angles are the same, so it's also equiangular, which is kind of an obnoxious word, but it really stems from the same thing. Equi meaning the same, and then angular, obviously referring to angles. So an equilateral triangle has all three sides that are the same and all three angles that are the same. And that means there's only one, because since all the angles have to add up to be 180 degrees, if the three sides or three angles have to split that equally, the three angles of an equiangular or equilateral triangle always have to be 60 degrees since that's the only way for them all to be the same and add up to be 180. Um, if you take, you know what, that's enough for now. Let's stick with that and we're going to use this information to answer the questions, uh, the example questions at the bottom of the page and we'll review a few of these uh, sort of things that go along with the equiangular or equilateral triangle as we go through the, those examples.